Many updates have come through for the Chicago Bulls, none more important than the injury updates that have been given around Lonzo Ball, Patrick Williams, and Zach Levine. In today's video, we are going to be talking about these injury updates and how this possibly could shape out for the Chicago Bulls. This is Rico Greenhow. This is another episode of Bulls Digest. Before we jump into it, I want to let you know that 77.9% of you guys that watch the videos are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with the latest news and happenings around your Chicago Bulls. Without further ado, let's jump into the first and only part of the video, which is injury updates, guys. And so we're going to be elaborating on what AK had to say here, and we're going to be you know, possibly throwing out some opinions as to what this is going to look like for the Chicago Bulls. Uh, I think that maybe AK could be showing his hand a little bit with some of the things that he is saying here. Um, and potentially he could also be throwing out uh, maybe a plan to get Lonzo Ball back into the fold of things, guys. And so, look, you can find this article uh, on Chicago Sports right here. Um, and it's talking about AK provides new injury updates for Lonzo Ball, Zach Levine, Patrick Williams. Nice piece here by Ryan Taylor. And guys, let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. And so starting with Lonzo Ball here. Okay, so look, he Here's AK coming out and talking about Lonzo. He's saying, look, we are going to have to wait it out one step at a time. He's working out in LA. He's also working out here. But he says, I think he's going to be around the team in the summer league. That's a big point there. All right. He said he's clear to pretty much do everything on the floor. Uh, we're going to continue to strengthen him. Uh, and like I said, the next two months, we'll see what's it's going to look like. All right, guys, so starting with what AK has to say about Lonzo Ball, starting with that first part of the paragraph, he alluded to him being around the team in Summer League, okay? So in Summer League, when you're there, most uh, most times than not, you're sitting there, you're practicing with the Summer League guys, you're getting accustomed to the system that the Bulls are going to run there. And I'm wondering, would it be possible that AK might have something in place that Lonzo might be ready to step on the floor and show us a little bit of what he's got in the summer league, even though he doesn't have anything to prove. And there's a lot on the line with this comeback for him. Um, it wouldn't be far fetched for me to see him do this um, at summer league. Now, I'm not going to say that he is going to do this, but look, if anybody's going to make a splash like this, it would be Lonzo Ball. But it, truth be told, he's probably going to go down there and he's going to be working out. And he could be doing some 5 on 5 um, behind closed doors at this point in time, contrary to the belief that, you know, he's only going to start to ramp up when it's closer to training camp. Who knows? I mean, he might be very much ready because he did say at the end of that that he's cleared to do everything on the court. So if you're cleared to do everything on the court, that means you could technically start to play five on five. And look, with what's going on, with Josh Giddy coming over, with Kobe White ascending, with Desumu ascending, there is a speculation that Giddy has been the replacement for Lonzo Ball. And look, there is not a whole bunch of trade value out there for Lonzo Ball at this point in time. Yes, he could go somewhere if the Bulls decided to buy him out, but his best case scenario might be he needs to get some value back out there and show what he can do. And even if he's able to come back at a serviceable level, guys, I mean, I would not mind having Lonzo Ball come off my bench and be a Sean Livingston type of closer if he can do that. I don't have a problem with him doing that. We were pretty terrible off the bench. And so if Lonzo can come off and do that at this point in time in his career and he's OK with that, I think that there is a place for him here because he is still young. It just means that that next contract for Lonzo Ball, if he's able to stay healthy here, is going to look a, bit, a little bit different. So the key thing is I think that AK is going to uh, – he's going to take his time with this. He wants to see him on the floor before he makes a decision. I think that's the one thing that you need to get out of this. Um, I'm throwing out the opinion that he could go out there and he might show us a little something in summer league. That's just me saying, I want to see him out there. But uh, I think if Lonzo is smart, he's not going to do that, but he is certainly 
probably going to start to ramp up and play some five on five with these guys out here and see what he can and cannot do. So, um, you know, that's the first point here. So next we're going to talk about Lon or excuse me, Patrick Williams. And then we're talking about Zach Levine all in one setting here. So look with uh, Zach Levine and then Patrick Williams, guys, uh, the one thing he said here is that Zach has been fully cleared to go out here and do his thing. He said Levine told the media, obviously during March, that he's ahead of schedule here as far as recovering from that foot injury. And then he's saying with Patrick Williams, he's not quite there yet, or it's not quite there yet. Um, and so now we have a huge question around that because look, he's saying he's not quite ready. We've already put out the qualifying offer for Patrick Williams. Uh, now, whether he's going to receive that offer or not, or head to the open market, uh, we'll see what happens, but at least the Bulls can go ahead and contest uh, for Patrick Williams' services. So, um, look, it, it is a little scary that Patrick Williams is not quite ready yet, especially when you're getting ready to invest some, some dollars into Patrick Williams, if that is what is true in the news here. Um, and it looks like that if Patrick Williams is coming back, he might have to play an important role, okay? And so is Zach Levine, because at this point in time, we have not moved off Zach Levine at the time of this recording. So both of these players could be some big assets for the Chicago Bulls, and you are going to need them to be healthy. And I will certainly say this, uh, you know, unlike Lonzo, because I think we've gotten some insurance for Lonzo, the important pieces now are going to be on Zach Levine and Patrick Williams, especially if we're moving on from DeMar DeRozan, there's going to be more responsibility placed on Patrick Williams. I think certainly at this point in time now, if he gets this next contract, 10 points and four rebounds a game is not going to cut it. And I think that he is not going to be able to necessarily have that out of playing out of position. I think especially if the Chicago Bulls go and address uh, the center position, they start to use Sunoco, then you're going to have to start to show that you can play. And I think it starts with him playing at the three versus the four. Um, you know, I, I get it if you believe that he can play the four. Uh, I think that that is going to be a tough stretch for Patrick Williams. I think he's better served at the three personally, but we'll see. I mean, he could be a three, four type of guy. We'll see, but I think he's more suited for the three. But either way, his injury concern for me, um, I I'm concerned. I'm concerned for sure because I, I want to hear some more about what Patrick Williams is doing before I go ahead and invest with him. Zach Levine. Uh, it's good that he's ready. I think he's anxious to get back to the court. And with Zach Levine, I think he's ready to prove himself. And I think he's kind of getting a little disgusted with the fact that, um, you know, teams don't want him or whatever the case may be. So honestly speaking, guys, if we're able to mend the fence with Zach Levine and he can get over his feelings with what's going on, we might have like a, a terrific season from Zach Levine because he does go with Giddy. We would be getting younger. So I, it, it, could I imagine him catching lobs and, and back doors from, um, you know, from Bazillas? Yeah, I could see that. The way that Bazillas passes the ball and stuff like that and opens up the floor. Absolutely, I can see that. And so let me know in the comments what you guys think. Are you guys believing that Lonzo Ball is going to make a, a, a big stretch here heading into summer league? Is he going to be ahead of schedule? Do you think he's going to be off schedule at some point in time? Um, do you feel like that Patrick Williams, if you know he's going to recover in enough time and he's going to be a good investment for us? And do you agree with me that Zach Levine is just waiting to get back on the court and he's going to show us something that uh, perhaps we haven't uh, saw in quite some times, guys. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments. Uh, this is Rico Greenhow. And even though we don't know, we're getting ready to spend some money on a player that hasn't recovered from an injury. We got a guy that hasn't played in a couple seasons and we're still waiting for him. I'm still saying go Bulls. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, peace, peace.